Welcome back to Tutorial Tidbits. I'm Elizabeth St. Hilaire and today I want to talk about the application of Simple Leaf. Now Simple Leaf is made by Mona Lisa and Speedball and it comes in three different colors. You can get gold leaf, you can get silver leaf, and you can get copper leaf. Now these are the, uh, the kind that I prefer to use are with transfer papers and I'm going to show you that in the demo. And it is a beautiful way to add some really shiny metallic to your collages and your collage papers. Once you apply it to the collage paper you can tear it and glue it down or you can apply it to your back backgrounds and collage on top of it or around it in the backgrounds or you can apply it directly on top of your collage in areas where you want to add a little bling. So you can experiment with gold, simple leaf, silver or copper and see what you come up with. It is a beautiful way to add an extra level of shine to your collage work. Today is super exciting because we're going to talk about gold leaf or simple leaf that is gold. We don't really want to get involved in 24 karat gold leaf because that would break the bank. So Mona Lisa and Speedball have a simple leaf that is a gold and it is on um, the kind that I prefer to use is on the transfer papers. Okay, it comes two different ways, and this is a transfer paper, a press and peel. So that means you um, you you press the the leaf uh, from this transfer paper. It allows you to take it and press it and then lift it off. It's a lot easier to handle than the loose leaf. Um, so I want you to make sure that you get the, the kind with the transfer papers. Okay, you're also going to need the Mona Lisa adhesive to go along with it. This is what glues it down. This is the product that goes together. Um, both of these products are going to be on my Amazon shopping list for your resources. Um, I'm going to show you how to apply uh, it with a brush and just if you want to brush it into a certain area on your painting or I've got these amazing art stamps that I designed from Rubber Moon and you know I am a huge Gustav Klimt fan. Can you see that? I'm a huge Klimt fan so spirals and gold are right up my alley. All right then, let's work on applying the adhesive. So I'm gonna, for the rubber stamp, I'm gonna spread the adhesive out on this sheet of palette paper, and then I'm gonna press my stamp into it. Odds are I'm not gonna get a perfect impression of the rubber stamp, but I, uh, you know, it could be eviscerated a little bit or imperfect, I'm still gonna be happy with it. Um, but if you don't get the best results the first time you try, you've gotta try it again. So I'm going to, um, also I'm just going to brush some of the leaf. So first of all, shake it. Shake, 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 shake it. I've used it without shaking it and wondered why it didn't work and it's because I didn't read the directions. However, the directions are in tiny type, so I couldn't read them even if I wanted to. Okay, so we've got the leaf uh, adhesive. I've shaken it all up. I am going to use the paintbrush to apply it to um, a collage paper that I made previously. So let's add, uh, I'm gonna dip the uh, brush into the the adhesive. I, wow, I really shook that up well. I'm um, going to just brush it on here, just to sort of brush it in the corner. That would be like how you would apply it to your painting. You would brush it in a specific area or in a background, wherever you want it. So you just brush the adhesive on there, and then you need to let it dry. So you want to rinse this brush in the water real quick because it's very sticky, and it's going to really get your brush all stuck together. So that needs to go in the water, rinse right away, and wash it out with some uh, Master's Brush Cleaner. That will really get the adhesive out of the brush. Uh, that's on my, on my um, art supply list with the link below. Okay? So um, on this one, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the... Um, the leaf on the stamp. Now, I don't want to brush the adhesive into the stamp because then it's all going to flow down into the low areas. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put that adhesive out onto this palette paper. I'm just going to brush it out onto the palette paper. It's hard to see what you're doing when it's white on white on white, but so I'm going to brush it out. I am going to press rub the stamp into the adhesive see if i can get it all over and then i'm going to press the stamp onto this darker colored collage paper so let's press that right here so i'm in essence i'm stamping the adhesive there i see it looks pretty good 
So I'm gonna do it one more time on the other end. I think I've still got some adhesive on the palette paper here. We'll find out. I'm gonna stamp it on this end. I think I got a better contact the first time, but if I hold it at an angle, I can see that the spirals are on there. So now it's a matter of letting it dry. I wanna make sure that I clean this stamp, um, so I'm going to uh, wipe it off with a baby wipe because I wanna get this sticky stuff off of it right away. Um, and in the meanwhile, we're going to let the adhesive dry on these sheets. So you let the adhesive set up a little bit. So you wanna to touch it and for it to be tacky. If you wait too long, it's gonna dry completely and it won't be sticky. But if you try to put the leaf on it right away, it's gonna be wet and it's not gonna actually pull the leaf. So um, I, I looked at this bottle uh, really closely and it doesn't say on here how long, but it seems to me I remember reading somewhere that it said 15 to 20 minutes. But since I'm in Florida and I'm outside in the garage and I'm getting a breeze and it's very warm, this is going to set up pretty quickly. So the true test is just the tackiness. When you touch it with your finger and it's tacky, it's ready to go. Okay. So you're going to take the transfer paper and you're going to put the leaf shiny side down into where the glue is and then you're going to rub it with your fingernails, the, the back side of your fingernails, burnish it so that the glue pulls the gold leaf off of the transfer paper. So now we've got, I'm gonna move it over here. Then you can brush what's not glued down off we didn't get a real good uh, spiral effect here. I've had better results. Uh, there we go. We brushed some of that off. Perhaps I let it set up too long, but I've got a bit of a spiral. So I am waiting for the, uh, the adhesive to get tacky. It's gotten tacky here a bit. I'm um, going to take uh, one of my sheets with the transfer paper. Take a sheet with the transfer paper. I'm going to put the shiny side down, pressing it into the adhesive and rubbing it. There we go. I'm over here. Rubbing it with my fingernails to get it to adhere. Now, wherever you brushed it, including the palette paper, that metallic leaf is going to stick. I think that's all where I've got tacky there. So look at that. It is really shiny. It is way more shiny than um, metallic paint. It makes a beautiful background. It makes, uh, now that you've transferred it to this paper, you can tear this paper up and glue it down as collage pieces. Um, and you can brush it into sections, areas of your collage and adhere it over the top at the end when you're finished. There's lots of different possibilities you can do with this, but that's how you apply it um, with just the brush and the adhesive. Uh, also, both products by Speedball Mona Lisa. So those are in my Amazon art page. Now I'm waiting for um, the leaf uh, adhesive to dry from the stamp because it was a little, a little thicker. Uh, but I think it's, I think it's good right here. I added, uh, I did a little practice run with that one. It didn't come out quite so good, but let's try this one. Sometimes it works better than others with the stamp, and it's never going to be perfect, but it's going to give you sort of a, an eviscerated kind of rough impression of the stamp and it's just a different way of applying it here we go so we've got it uh, like this and then we're going to just brush it rub it off of the areas that don't have adhesive so you can reveal the spiral pattern so you're just going to sort of rub it to remove so now we've got a little bit of a spiral pattern now this one didn't quite come off uh, it didn't come out as well, but I still like it because the lines are fine. This one I used more glue, so the lines are a little less fine. They filled in a bit. So it's a matter of practice when you're trying to use it with a stamp, but I love this um, in a different way than I love that. And I can, like I said, I can apply those directly to the collage, or I can apply them to paper and then tear them out, or a combo of both. Um, 
I did stamp some other papers that are still wet uh, with the adhesive, so I'm gonna let those dry and then um, experiment and try it again. It's just a matter of applying more and less adhesive and sort of trying to get it on the surface of the stamp perfectly from the palette paper. Uh, so it takes a little practice, even for me. Um, but uh, there is the application of the gold leaf.